one thing I've always done and will continue to do is sticking to the basics. If you've been watching my YouTube channel for a while, you realize that I always preach the fact that you should always do the barest minimum when it comes to looking out for trading setups to trade. Always go for the easiest one that's going to make you as much money as possible. There's no need for you to draw complicated lines, so many things on your screen, so many things on your charts, which is at the end going to confuse you and prevent you from even having an edge on the market. What you need is something that works. We have a saying that goes, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. There's no need for you to go for the most complicated setup. No one, as traders, no one is going to sit you down and quiz you on what strategy you use, how efficient that particular strategy is, what concepts are in it, all that information is gibberish. But the most important thing is for your trades to matter in your bank account. If you're not making profits that fall into your bank account, it doesn't matter whatever facade you place out there. It doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't grant you the gratification that profits makes you. Because as traders, I've said this so many times, the greatest gratification you can have as a forex trader is being able to make money from what you trade with. So if you see any property you've acquired, if you see any apartment you'll be able to rent, if you see any clothes you've been able to buy, groceries you've been able to purchase, anything, any sort of expense you've been able to cover with your trading profits, the gratification you get from that far, far supersedes whatever complicated concept you feel you're using. If you are new to Forex, you are trying to learn a strategy that's going to make you successful, that's going to make you succeed as a trader, that's going to make you any form of money, help you achieve any form of goals you want to achieve. What you need is something that works. So if it works, just use it as long as it follows your trading principles as long as you have your confirmations on them as long as it makes you money and you don't have to risk too much to take advantage of that particular opportunity use it so in this video i'll be talking about my very very favorite chat part my favorite continuation strategy which might as well be the best strategy any beginner can have as a forex trader in today's video so remember in my previous video i made mention of the fact that i was going to break down a gbp card trade i took with my community making us over 70 pips I made mention of the fact that I was going to actually break it down in my next video. So here you have it. Today you're going to see a chart pattern which you've seen so many times, but you don't know how to take advantage of it. You can use it on a four hour time frame, any time frame you want, but I actually enjoy using it on a four hour more because on the four hour, it lets me take advantage of the direction the whole day. So it means that if it's a sell, I'm able to stay in the sell for the whole day and milk as much from the opportunity as possible. If it's a buy, I'm also able to stay in the buy for the whole day and then make as much as possible from it. So this is a simple continuation strategy I use. It is actually my favorite continuation strategy. What I've noticed from years of analyzing the market is that the market is actually much more likely to keep going in a direction than to reverse. So if I'm expecting a reversal at any point and then I realize that reversal fails to materialize, applying any continuation principle that which works helps me take advantage of that particular trade as well. So we're going to get into it today. But before we start, please and please again, I need you to like this video. I also need you to subscribe to this channel, share with as many struggling traders you know as possible. Any beginner you know who keeps asking you for a simple trading strategy to use to attain success on the market, this is a video you want to actually share to that person. Post it everywhere on all your socials so everyone gets access to it and is also able to improve their trading as well. I also need you to hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I go live or drop a video on YouTube. In so many instances, the market can drop, get to a certain point, maybe a key level, support resistance trend line, and then you expect it to actually reverse. You see the market consolidate nicely, but because you have no idea how to take advantage of the movement of candlesticks at key levels, you might decide to go for a buy and you realize that it was actually a continuation. It keeps going in the same direction again. On other occasions as well, you can see a strong sell, the market pausing, and then selling again. All these scenarios are what we simply mean as continuations. So if you've been on this channel, you realize that I've actually used it to take so many trades on so many pairs before. So today I want to actually get back into it and then explain it in detail to you guys so you understand how to take advantage of it. So without wasting my time, let's jump right into the charts. With my simple continuation strategy or my favorite chart pattern, what simply happens is I use it to take advantage of long rises or long drops. With the market giving me a drop like this, then I see it consolidate anywhere. So let's see, I have a few candles. Minimum, I look for three candles. So sometimes three, sometimes four, sometimes five. The consolidate here means I just go up, down, up, down, up, down. Then it finally breaks to the downside. This is what I mean by my continuation strategy, which any beginner can use anywhere else. So all you do is you just wait for the market to finish consolidating. Then how the candlesticks actually play out. So it means that you actually look at the very last candlestick. If it's a strong bearish candle breaking out of this zone, you expect the market to go to the downside. The opposite can also go for a bullish move as well, where I have the market giving me, you know, a long bullish move like this or a long rise, a strong one at that. Then I see the market consolidate, so I can have a bullish candle, bearish candle, bullish candle, bearish candle, bullish candle. So like I said, three, four, five, six 
candles but minimum three candles and then i look out for the last very candle if it's a strong bullish candle which breaks out of my consolidation here i now expect the market to also do what give me a strong buy after that so now if i'm taking my buy here what happens is my entry price is on top of the consolidation where the breakout candle happens then my confirmation is at the bottom of the consolidation it always gives me good risk to reward then my take profits is all based on market structure but as you know your tp1 is always greater than or equal to your stop loss then the rest all depends on the structure of the market same also apply for the bearish move as well so you realize that for the bearish move i also wait for the breakout candle the lowest price that the market attains after the consolidation my sell is here stop loss also right on top of the consolidation then what do i do depending on the structure of the market i set my take profits based on the various or the previous turning points that the market has given me in the past so once i do that all i do is i just take this trade with my stop loss up here like i said it always provides you with insane risk to reward this is all the continuation strategy talks about or my favorite chart pattern so once this happens like i said i call it the bearish continuation pattern or the bullish continuation pattern so your free time maybe over the weekend just sit back go through the chart and then back test look at instances where the market gave you a long drop and then consolidated what happened look at instances where the market actually also gave you what a long rise and then consolidated what happened you'll be able to ascertain that this trading strategy i talk about all the time albeit simple it is also extremely effective and efficient a money making tool you might call it all right guys so before we continue i want to talk to you guys about fastball fastball is one of the most amazing and efficient financial analysis platforms you can actually find you can go easily go to this website or download the app to get access to all data you need to all the information you need about fundamentals it means that if you want to trade your nfps if you want to trade your cpis if you want to trade your fomc's if you want to trade every single thing interest rate for the pound unemployment rate for the canadian dollar interest rate for the japanese yen every single thing you need every single information you need about fundamentals on the market this is where you want to get it so you can easily download fastball on your app store and then on your play store as well if you're on your pc you can also easily access it by going to fastball.com sign up create your account and then get access to all the fundamental data you need just like the fomc that came out last night get this on fastball.com so if you look on your screens you can easily see they have different tools there they even have ai signals we have expert traders also sharing the analysis there. you can also go there and easily share your analysis as well as what you're expecting to happen or your forecast or speculation on certain currency pairs that you trade they even have videos over there which help you understand fundamentals to the minutest detail. So I'm going to leave the download link so you can easily sign up with Fastball, get access to all the fundamentals. Because as traders, it's very important you know whatever news will be released before you even go onto the charts to look at your technicals. Sign up with Fastball now, improve your fundamental analysis game. But let's get back into the video. So if you look here clearly, previous instance, what do you see? The market dropped, consolidated as you see here. How many candles do you have? Then it finally broke out. But as you can see, the breakout candle here, I was not able to take advantage of it. But it was a breakout of the trend line. You know what I always talk about with regards to breakouts? Strong momentum candle or multiple medium sized candles. So once I have the strong momentum candle, I'm actually expecting it to be a breakout in this zone. So once I'm expecting a breakout in this zone, how do the candlesticks here behave to actually indicate to me that the market is about to break out of here? So now, it's where i'm actually expecting my chart pattern to play out again so now what do we do we just wait first candle comes you have a nice inverse hammer forming and then closing here then the next candle comes as well what do you also have on that you have also an extremely small inverse hammer opening and closing then our next candle is actually what a strong bearish candle closing giving us what we can call an evening star in this particular zone so once i have my evening star this is my confirmation for a sell i actually expected the market to sell from here even though this might be a support for a lot of traders seeing the price action here or seeing the candlesticks here tells me that i'm expecting it to keep going down so now like i said same principles i'm selling entry here stop loss right on top of the range like i said it always gives you good risk to reward so it was just about 26 pips then i look at the structure of the market so my tp1 can be here i also have my final tp because it was just a quick day trade so i can also have my final tp on it as well here so now i know at least i'm expecting the market to get here which is about how many pips about 76 pips so risking 26 pips for about 76 pips that's about one is to three because 26 times three is about 78 so 26 pips for 76 pips so what does the first candle do for us takes us into profits pulls back a bit second candle also takes us into profits gets extremely close to the tv one and pulls back a bit then the next candle so we realize that what happened 
it just finally dropped went all the way down so now here you look clearly here you could have also easily added another position here looking at the market consolidating all bearish candles you could have also easily added another position here whilst the initial position was already in profits you could have also easily added another position here and then made money of it to your final take profits so like i always say wait for the market to give you a huge drop let it consolidate look at the price action or how the candlesticks behave at that particular what key level or in that consolidation it means that you want to see the very last candle that opens and closes there if you are looking for a sell you want to see a strong bearish candle tell you the market is about to drop if you are looking for a buy you also want to see what a strong bullish candle indicates the market is about to what, buy with a bullish presence you see so once i get my bearish candle my entry here stop loss right on top of the consolidation because so now it drops consolidates here i'm in profit but i can easily also add another position because i easily see another what pattern here forming here as well so like i said your free time over the weekend just take your time go back in time try and see if you can replicate how you know this strategy played out on other currency pairs you trade whatever currency pair you trade it might be your favorite pairs if you finally come to the end of this video if you like what you watched here today if you like what you saw here today if you want me to make more amazing educational content like this revealing more strategies easy strategies for you to make some quick money for yourselves you want to actually subscribe to this channel you also want to like this video share with as many retail traders as possible you also want to hit the notification bell so you get it for any time i go live or drop a video on youtube also click the link in the description to sign up with my recommended broker join my telegram community currently we are about 13,700 active subscribers we towards 14,000 subscribers so you want to join the community on telegram and you also want to keep up with me on my socials common for us on instagram common for us on telegram common for us on tiktok common for us on twitter as well so thank you for joining me in this one see you in the next one and don't forget to withdraw anytime you make your profits